What's going on guys? It's GBP baby. Welcome to another video. It's currently 3.11am on Monday the 27th of November. We're going to be doing a weekly review and expectations. And yeah, we're going to start with the monthly, work our way down as per usual, and then go over to GBP and Euro USD. First things to take a look at is the monthly. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've had my eyes set on the opening of this week, um, monthly order block here. So I'll get that marked out. So it has a monthly bullish order block so I can I, I want to see if we can trade down into this and then on the weekly in terms of PD arrays um, we have this swing low to get taken out and this fair value gap here to trade into which also happens to be positioned where that monthly order block open is so in terms of next week, I do want to see an expansion expansion down to the um, down into this weekly order block. We can see that last week was quiet, um, not much went on. There was movement lower, but there was a lot of back and forth action. And um, considering it was Thanksgiving, uh, which is a big a big holiday, I can imagine that's why we saw so much consolidation. So let's drop down to the daily, and you'll be able to see that this is last week. We traded up into this consolidation as I called out last week Sunday, and then we can see we traded lower and um, I did want to see us trade down into this weekly fair value gap last week but like I said because of the holiday it, we didn't actually reach it so now I'm anticipating this new week where we've got a lot of um, news releases as well to offer that um, to offer that movement down into this fair value gap and below the swing low residing here so that's overall what I'm expecting um, I want to see price continue to respect the green candles just like here how price is respecting this bearish order block I'd expect price now respect this bearish order block the same way what we can do is we can mark out the consequent encroachment of this bearish order block but um yeah let me just go back to the weekly real quick so we can get a better look at what's going on so last week we traded higher and then we started to move lower and one thing to pay, take note of is now is the fact that we've closed below the 50 percent level of this wick so this wick wicks are gaps too the fact that we've closed below the 50 percent level of it is hinting to me that we're likely now going to see lower prices and trade down into this range and potentially pull into this range as well and i say this range because this is, this is an implied fair value gap as in there's only delivery on the upside so technically price can draw down into this range here but more specifically i'm expecting this monthly order block bullish order block to get traded into that's where i'm expecting to see a reaction whether we dip lower into it is another question but overall i do want to see this level get reached and then from then on we'll be able to get a better better idea of what to expect so let's go to the daily again real quick. We do have a nice little daily fair value gap here that price may want to reach into. So we can mark that out and we'll put that as make it blue. And then let's go down to the four hour and then we can have a better look. You can see our price traded up into this range, trading into this um, mitigation block. Why is it a mitigation block? High, low, lower high, and then we move lower. We trade, so we traded back into this mitigation block. This is the actual block here. Trade into that. And price is moving away and hopefully and like i said i'm expecting a run down into these levels here we can go to the one hour to get a better look and you can see we're already starting to move lower it's not very it's not much of a target because it's not very far so to speak so it's possible we may trade down into this order block have a reaction and start to trade higher for the rest of the week but um that's going to be a matter of waiting to see what happens on the monday seeing how we respond and um, seeing if there is a reaction, a strong reaction here. But there is, like I said, there is a lot of um, high impact news this week, so I do expect a lot of volatility in general. But yeah, overall, I just want to see if we can trade down into it, and then, like I said, get a nice reaction off of it. So that's gonna, I'm gonna keep that short and sweet. Let's go over to GBP USD. We're gonna just go over to the weekly as well so where am i you can see um we traded into this range on gbp i'm now anticipating this swing high to get taken out but let's go down to the daily and we can get a better look so you can see how we push higher on the friday running up into this bearish order block but there's a nice fair value gap just here that price is likely going to want to fill in terms of the upside on gbp so we can mark that out as a target so as, as dollar moves lower, I'd like to think that GBP can move higher, running into this um, imbalance residing just above that swing high here. And it's a bearish order block as well. So again, I'd expect a nice reaction off that. If 
we go down to the four hour, you can see how we're kind of just consolidating right now. Um, the lowest I'd want to see price go is into this wick here, offer us an entry, and then again, like I said, expand into that fair value gap we have our eyes on residing above that high. So let's get that marked out in the charts real quick. So this wick here, we can look at this as a low off tomorrow, as in Monday. There is a lot of re news releases tomorrow, so I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be quite a lot of movement tomorrow as well. But if we drop down to the 4 hour, we can see that, um, again, I'm, I'll allow price to come down here. And then I'd like to think that we can expand into this into this um, imbalance here. But in terms of direction for the overall week, I'm expecting an up close week, but I just think there is going to be a lot of back and forth price action purely because of the, how much news releases is going on. And yeah, we're running into that December. We're running into December this week as well, meaning that, you know, price action is likely going to get very fickle. The markets are going to slow down a little bit and it's going to get quite, it's going to become quite a dangerous environment in general. But overall, I'd like to think that we can trade up into that nice fair value gap. If price is aggressively moving higher, then we can start expecting a run higher. But overall, I, I'd expect some kind of um, retracement off of that level. Another reason I expect retracement there is because if we look at the range of the total range we're trading, you'll see how we've just traded above this 50% level, meaning that as, uh, usually what happens is once you hit the 50% level of a range, um, we tend to have a drawback. That means a large retracement. So I wouldn't be surprised if we hit that level and then started to see us turn around and run lower. And let's look at um, dollars range as well. So in terms of the range that dollars traded from this low up to this high, you can see that we just hit that 50% level. So I wouldn't be surprised again if we took out these lows and then we had some kind of reversal to pull back and run up into these highs and the relative equal highs resting here. But again, it's just a matter of waiting. We'll see what Monday gives us. And if we see a nice aggressive reaction off this level, then we know we can start looking for buys considering we're gonna go back into, you know, a premium above this 50% level. Oh, my bad guys. So that's something to consider. Let's go on to Euro real quick. We'll go on the monthly. So Euro's been moving um, a little bit different to pound, but you can see it looks like we're running up into this range here. We have a nice reject. This is a rejection block. So this level here, I expect rejection at. So we can drop down to the weekly and we can have a better look. So there is actually an implied fair value gap here from this low, from this open, sorry, from this close to this high. Technically, this is what you call a, a, um, a fair value gap because it's implied. There's only delivery on the downside. So this week, price will, will likely want to pull into that. And remember, this level marked out that monthly rejection block. Now, why is this a rejection block? Because when price was trading in it before, um, so when price traded into this wick on this candle, when price traded into this wick, we turned away. So I'm expecting the same thing to be happening on this candle here. So let's go down to the daily and see what we can find. It's not very clear. We have a little fair value gap there. It's a little bit more consolidated. Um, and again, same thing. We'll look at the current trading range we're in. You can see we're already well above that 50% level. So we're already in a premium, meaning that when price does, if we do get a reaction, price will likely want to aggressively trade back lower into that discount, discounted um in the discount part of the range, which is below the 50% level. So that's one thing to consider. But yeah, if that is the case, that means we will likely have a down a down close week on pairs and up close week on dollar. Um, but we'll see again, depending on the strength of the reversal and everything. So yeah, not really much to say, so to speak. Um, I think it's overall what I'm going to be doing, my plan for this week, is I'm going to wait for price to get down to this level. I'm going to see how it treats it. If we get a nice reaction off of this level, then I can expect to be running higher and running into the relative equal highs. And when I say relative equal highs, I'm talking about these highs here. I wouldn't be surprised if price wants to draw up to that. And um, and like I said, there's a lot of news releases this week. I'll actually get, um, list a few of them now. So today we have new home sales and then not, there's nothing on Tuesday, but Wednesday we've got Good tr we've got two high impact Thursday we've got about five high impact six even and Friday we've got four impact four high impact so Monday Wednesday Thursday and Friday there's all a lot of news releases so that's why I think there is going to be a lot of movement and again with as I said before the transition into the new into the new month is going to 
make a significant difference in the, in the charts. So let's just continue aiming for this sell side liquidity. I'd like to think that I'll collect those orders residing below there and then would want to reverse on that and run to that buy side. If we do have a not close week, let's just quickly look at the weekly chart. It's perfectly possible to have an up close week. Technically, there's no reason to other than the fact that, again, this monthly order block we've bought from here before. Order blocks are places where we've bought from. So that's why I'm expecting a strong reaction once we hit that. And um, yeah, it's just going to be a matter of waiting and seeing. This level here from two weeks ago, I'd like to think that we could trade into that on the high side, which is quite interesting. And the reason I say that is because although we traded into it last week, within last week's range, um, once this sell side liquidity has been traded to, it would likely want to draw back off into that candle's low. Because remember, this is the weekly low. And price tends to refer to these levels um, how do I explain it? Price tends to want to refer to these levels. So like I said, if we take out the south side liquidity, then it's going to hunt for some kind of premium array. And then at that point, it will be this low. So it will be the low of that, that week, which is why I'd expect then a run up into those levels. So yeah, that's going to be everything, guys. Um, we'll have, I'll be in a lot more detail tomorrow once we've had, you know, Monday's trading finished. So stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.